evening all, and welcome back to episode 10 of Kerbal Space Program Kerbalism. Now between the last episode and this one, I have flown around Kerbin a little bit and completed a few contracts of scanning for temperature or pressure scans, the very simple ones. Um, you can see I've got a few bits of debris left there, the remembrance of my plane. That's just boosted our coffers a little bit, give us 600,000 here, so we can further expand things. I was thinking about expanding the research station, but that would really dent our, our money a bit here. One thing I did learn, however, and I should have known this already, mission control is the actual place you upgrade to get maneuver nodes. It's not the tracking station like I thought, so I'm an idiot. Let's do that. That will certainly help down the lines. So, what should we do today? For the last couple of episodes, I keep saying let's go to the moon. So let's actually do that. Let's actually get to the damn moon. I've been putting it off for ages. Do we have any contracts to do anything for the moon? Position a satellite? Mm. Yeah, we could possibly do that one. Uh, gives us a bit of a bit of cash. See as we go in there and gather science from the moon. We can do that. We can definitely do that. So, so let's build a craft to go straight to the moon. Now, for this, I've decided we're going to go with the Mimus Express design, the Mimus Express Two design, the one that actually has the food and uh, life support on it. This design works pretty well, you can get to the Mimus and back so it can certainly get to the moon. I am going to get rid of the side boosters and put asparagus staging on it however, that will give us much more efficiency, allow us to hopefully get up into orbit with a lot more fuel left than before. May also change up the middle stages a bit just to just to give it a a bit more oomph for on the moon because I'm not a hundred percent sure that the LV, LV engine could get us off the surface. It probably can, but I'd rather be rather be safe than sorry. And the Moon Express is ready. Gracie and Dudlow are off off to the moon. Going where no Kerbal has gone before and coming home, definitely coming home. They have 59 days of food and 74 days of oxygen. They've also got 200 days before any instability comes along from them being left up there. Uh, they also get a bonus being two people, not alone. They get a not alone bonus because, well, they're not alone. And having a communitron or any form of communications means that they also get a bonus to this. I didn't realise that to start with, so I have to remember, even putting one on there and not necessarily using it means that they won't go mad as quickly. At the top, we have our little satellite to position in orbit around the moon to complete the contracts so we can get the money. At 6,154 metres a second of Delta V, slightly less than Mimus Express because I had to take away one of the large fuel tanks due to weight, but the asparagus staging system will certainly help. Dropping the tanks individually means there's less weight for it to lug around the further it gets up, so hopefully that'll get us into orbit with a bit of fuel left. We shall see. And here we are in a stable orbit, 106 to 99, very good. And we haven't used all the fuel. Asparagus certainly is much more efficient than those solid rocket boosters. Definitely have to stick to doing that in the future. Uh, now let's let's deploy our cow. Off we go. Get everything up and running. Uh, we'll also extend the munitrons. Uh, just because I do have a habit of disconnecting satellites without sending the without turning the antenna on and not being able to talk to them anymore always a problem so the moon hello moon so now we have maneuver nodes ah oh, how i've missed them 
uh, set the moon up directly at 12 o'clock and at roughly four our maneuver stretch it out and the moon should be there there it is there it is look at that tweak it around a little bit moon is being a little elusive to me uh, there we are what's that we've got Charts. Quite have an encounter yet, I think. Aha! There we are. That's what we want. That'll do. That's a bit too close, I think. Hmm. Ah, well, we can manoeuvre it. It's much easier to manoeuvre to re. No. Much easier to adjust your trajectory once you're on the way out there. That's what I should be saying. I'm not actually sure where this satellite's got to go. Uh, uh, focus on the moon. The satellite's got to go that way around. So I want to try and get our manoeuvre on that side so we're automatically travelling the right way. That should be doable. Return to our craft. Trying to just point you the right direction. Going on. Oh yes, we've got a big fuel tank. We're still heavy. That's what's going on. That's why I'm not used to it. 38 second burn. Warp round to that maneuver node. Oh, so she's got warp two maneuver node. Hmm. I'm not sure whether that's a mod that does that or. That? And I've left it too late. Ideally. You want to divide the estimated burn time by two and fire before that. So that was 38, almost 40 seconds. We should have fired at 20 seconds before the maneuver node. Get the best, the best um, oomph out of it. However, our engine's going to die before we get there. There we are. One engine down. I think the poodle is is just as efficient. There we are. Right. Now, let's, let's go to the moon. Focus on the moon. Where are we coming in? May have to go out a little further before we can... Because... That's a little odd to me. That shouldn't be there. Ah, perhaps we haven't gone further enough. Haven't fired the engine long enough. That's probably the issue. Let's... Aha! There we are! There we are. And if we keep firing the engine nice and gently, we'll swap our orbits around. Come out on the other side. There, excellent. That's what we need. We can capture ourselves in the moon there, drop a little probe, and it can orbit around. Oh then, to the moon. Of course, because we're coming out the back side of the moon, it means our periaps will be quite low. Perhaps quite high. That's okay. It's not a bad thing. We are. Slow. Oh dear. Wrong button. Slow time down. There we are. We want to add a maneuver here and capture us. Do a large capture actually, something that's somewhere close to where our satellite is. 
Can we can't get our Right, so further out here, we want to adjust our orbit. Quite that much. Adjusting your manoeuvres further away from the object you're approaching uh, gives you much more leeway. It's more efficient to do it out here, I believe, rather than trying to do trying to do the capture and the change of plane. It's it's just better to to do it a little further out. Allow yourself some time to to readjust because you wouldn't want things going wrong that's how you kill Kerbals You're becoming a little bit of an expert on that so warp to manoeuvre Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, that walks maneuver worked well. Still, we can eyeball it. Stay roughly on the same sort of target. We're only a little bit late. Should I line up all the, all three, three dots at once? There we are, that'll do. I'm not sure why that shot me over there. Hmm. Doesn't like me. Trying to kill me. Kill my Kerbals. Ah, of course. We're now coming in from completely the wrong direction. So I am going to do have to do a, a plane change at this point anyway. Probably completely negated what I was trying to do before. Yes. Yep, I think that'll do. 21 second burn time. Up here. Signal lost with Kerbin. Oh no! Can't talk to home. However, that's probably a good thing it's happened whilst everything is still attached to the craft because I may have deployed that on the wrong side of the moon, out of the moon, and lost contact with it. Not a good thing, not a good thing. I'm really hoping I put that the right way around. Because if I hadn't, the engine on that craft isn't going to work. And we don't have an engineer on board to pull things apart. Anyway. Two more seconds, one about ten seconds before. Woo! Really gotta slow down on the time warp in there. I'm far too eager. 20 second burn. There's us captured in the moon's gravity. we are where's our almost good almost good try and get out there a bit better another thing I've just realized is obviously I've shrunk the craft down I got rid of the center stage meaning this is the only engine we have that worries me that worries me a little bit Especially the landing and getting back part. 
another small plane change, I think. Try that warp to maneuver again. It could have been that I pressed it whilst we were too close to it. Margin three minutes. Ah, so it'll stop three minutes before them. Right. Right, okay. I'm learning things as I go. I'm not sure whether this warp to feature was added in the latest version it or if it is part of Kerbalism or one of the other mods I have. Not entirely sure. Uh, I think I've ever seen it before. I know the warp to maneuver stops you about a minute out. I think it was. A minute out. Yeah, yeah, the warp to maneuver. So maybe that's added by mod or something. I I don't know. I don't even know what's going on. Barely know what day of the week it is. So there we are, another minor plane change. Is that enough? Does that bring us Yes, yes, I think that's enough. So let's go to that maneuver node. Point forward. And jettison our probe. He's away. The engine looks clear. That looks good to me. That looks good to me. Yes. There we are. Right. Now. Now, little probe. Got to sort of circularize. Oh, the other way. Get those those markers lined up somewhat. Yes, look at that, loads of fuel. Now. There we are, there we have it. The first one complete, and I think this can also complete our second one. Let's observe the mysterious goo. And, ah, unfortunately transmitting that would have absolutely no use whatsoever. Okay, well we'll keep that experiment and our little craft can happily sit here in space doing its thing. Let's go back to the Moon Express. This one can definitely complete that contract, transmit or recover science from around the moon. Quite simply, a crew report. We'll transmit the crew port. And mission complete. There you have it. Nice and simple. Now. We need to land. Land on the moon and do it efficiently because I'm a little concerned on the fuel. Yes, okay. That could get annoying, but we'll leave it for the minute. Point retrograde. Slow us down. Don't think we've got to worry too much. Um, the probe doesn't need any food. Uh, we've got 98%, we've got loads of it, and it takes a day to get here, and we've got about 50, 70 days of food, I think it was, I said, I can't remember. But no, we should be good, we should be very good. Let ourselves down, 
I want to land on the bright side. Because you should always look on the bright side. Yeah, that could be annoying. I wonder if there's a way to... Ah, ah yes there is. Moon Express, Moon Express Probe, that one there. Uh, we want... Turn off signal messages. There we are. Because we don't worry about that craft anymore. And the Mimus Express. Uh, I'm going to turn off everything for that because I don't really need notifications of that. That's a dead thing. And signal to the Moon Express. We don't need that either. There we are. That's going to make life a little, a little bit easier. Um... Completely overshot the manoeuvre node. And the blue line is very difficult to see. Very difficult to see indeed. It's there, I think. Yes. There we go. Let's come down like that, shall we? Ah, we've got. A stage it appears to have fixed itself. That's that's good. There we go. I can finally separate those two. It disappeared on me earlier on. Not sure why. Do turn on everything. Accelerate the time. The moon's gravity is much higher than moon misses, so it requires a lot more to slow down and take off. We're going to run out of fuel. We are going to run out of fuel. Do I abort? Do I abort? Do I land? Do I try and land and then come back and rescue? Do I... I... I'm going to abort this. We're going to abort this, hopefully. ourselves back into orbit. Doing those little manoeuvres and things probably pushed it over the edge. Maybe I under-engineered this vehicle, that's quite possible. Um, either way, I would rather abort it and attempt to get them home on minimal fuel then land them and have to send out another craft although i do have plenty of life support on board I just feel perhaps it's easier to do it this way we are left the sphere of influence of the moon There's the sun, there's the sun. Battery charge was dropping very rapidly then, I'm not sure why. Let's get out of here and see if on 30 litres of fuel, I assume that's litres, we can get back. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, let's uh, actually slow down. Whilst we're here, let's collect some science. Uh, open the service bay doors, Hal. Thank you. Observe the mysterious goo. Look at the temperature. Geiger counter. 
and the pressure from around the moon. There we are. All the science we currently have. Now, now let's let's get out of here. Moon Express Pro batteries are almost empty. Uh, we can actually disable that. We don't need to worry about energy. In fact, we don't really need to worry about anything for that craft anymore because it's a dead probe until they tell us to reposition it. It does have fuel on board. Here we are. Back in Kerwin space. Ooh. Uh, guessing I've clicked. Ah, oh, yes, I've clicked things. Don't we don't want that. There we are. Alright. Now, which way are we going around? We're going around this way. And our orbital period. What is our orbital period? Only three days. That's not too bad. I, I could could wait until we get back to Apple Apps. I think we will. I, th I think, yes, if we wait until we get back to Apple Apps, just to be the most efficient here, because our fuel's very low, and I'm done with killing Kerbals. I don't want to do this anymore. Not good for any of them. Let's let's see. Uh, to bring our periaps down to about fifty. Oh no, that's a bit too high. One hundred and seventy-eight meters a second. Delta V stats. What do we have left? We have one hundred and fifty-three. This is not good. This is not good at all. We're possibly going to have to issue a rescue. We are crossing the moon's influence again. I don't... Hmm. Hmm. Give me a moment. I'm going to try and figure out... Gravity assists. I wonder if we could use the moon to help bring us home. That, however, shall have to wait until next time. We still haven't managed to get to the moon. I am possibly the worst Kerbal player. But still, we will get there. We, we nearly got there today. Could have probably landed on the moon. Wouldn't be able to get home again. But still, it's within our grasp. It's just there. We're simply tripping at the finish line. Until then, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope to see you next time. And as always, have fun.